Chevy truck, clutch fan removal. We got our shroud and everything off because we're doing a radiator too. Here's our clutch fan wrench kit right there. You can rent those from any major parts store and get your money back when you return them through the rental program. You also need a spanner wrench. A lot of the kits come with that. And what we're gonna do is hook it on and I'm gonna show you that after we crack it free. If you have two guys, it really makes a difference. It helps. All right, so we're gonna hold this. I'm gonna hold this one down and Jamie's gonna pull that breaker bar. You're supposed to be holding. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Yep, crack it free. Either. too much we've just got too much we need a some place to rest this wrench against that salad so we'll bring it back this way all right and like if we had a little pulley to lay it against that'd be nice not recommended but we have a belt here all right now try all right here we go we just get joy we just got joy did it slip or did we crack? slipped off? You oh, slipped my off. spanner wrench slipped off. See your spanner wrench right here. It's got these pegs. I've drove a couple extra for different ones. It fit into the hole on the water pump here. There we go. There's four holes on the water pump. Our problem is this one is just on there really tight. Go ahead and bring it back this way. All right. Bring Take it. it to where you want it. All right, now try it again. Um, I'm seeing where your problem is. So yeah, I, we're still on it a little. Give it a little more. All right, I'm going. going. Ooh, cracked free. Cracked my elbow too. That was nice. You all right? Once, oh, I'm good. Once it cracks free, oh, it, <laughs> once it cracks free, it comes off like butter. That big rusty nut looking thing. See? Oh yeah, she's good. So now. We can just spin it right off. You see the nuts moving now. All you gotta do is crack it free that little bit and then it comes off. Oh, yeah. So this is our spanner tool right here. It's got the little notches to fit into the holes to lock the pulley in. And we, on most of your Chevy trucks, it's gonna be that one and seven sixteenths or 36 millimeter wrench. Breaker bar comes in handy too.